Hey everyone, just wanted to do a really quick video to show my new take a note planner from Taiwan that's just arrived. Um, this is my absolute first YouTube video where I've been talking about anything to do with planning in my life, so do go on easy for me. So the box itself is amazing, like I've had Hobonichi, I've had Stella G, I've had all the cheap ones, I've had other expensive ones, and this is like quality. Um, Hobonichi comes in a cool paper packet now when I got my little Hobonichi Weeks, my Coffee Monsters Co. stickers on the front. Um, and that was really cool because they used to have everything in plastic, which is super duper annoying. Um, but now it's all done in a paper, which I should have kept, but never mind. But the Take A Night Planner comes in this really cool box, which I'm going to totally be able to use for other things. So it's got a little ribbon on the side that you pull to open it up. And I haven't got it in here because I've got it in a cover to show you, but you can totally reuse this for other lovely things as well, which I will. Some of my really special stickers and things that I've got. So that's the box. The other thing that comes with it is this awesome bookmark slash calendar. This is a special blotting paper, which I totally should have recorded what that was when I was looking at the paperwork, but I didn't. And it's actually pressed on a proper letter press, so you can feel all the little indentations of all the numbers and letters, which is awesome. And of course, the beautiful front. I'm actually thinking I might laminate this because I don't want to get it grubby because it'll get grubby. And then a beautiful foiled thank you card which is the same as the cover and the same color as well almost the same color as the box so absolutely gorgeous so I came across the take a note planner I hadn't found planner piece and I didn't like my Hobonichi cousin anymore I'd fallen out of love with it so I bought a Wonderland 222 which I love but it just wasn't quite enough for me so as you'll see in a minute the take a note planner is just another step forward. So I'll move the box away and I'm going to show you this. Now this is an Archer and Olive cover and it's really, really good for my ADHD because this glitter all moves. I don't even know if it's gonna show you, but it all moves around and I got this second hand off of a buy sell group. I was super lucky and it's branded Archer and Olive on the back and you can see the camera in the background. Totally cool. Did not fit my Wonderland 222. So if you're looking at a cover and you come across these beautiful Archer and Olive covers, just be aware that they do not fit the Wonderland 222 A5. Um, I did try, and I'll show you because I'm dumb, I tried cutting it down to fit it in. This is in a Midori clear cover. So I've now ruined my Wonderland 222, but never mind. We'll look at that later. So good sturdy clip on this which I love and then we go I'm not going to show you the front cover because it just says the date get that out of the way 2023 regular and the take a note logo here so I've actually got these beautiful antiquarian sticker books from my local bookshop um, if you're in New Zealand it's Emma's of Oxford and she sells these gorgeous gorgeous sticker books and when I say a sticker book it's a whole it's a whole mood right there. So that's my antiquarian book. I have got another one, but this is the one that those came out of. I can get it back in my shelf. So I've just stuck some stickers. So in we go. I have no words. So I love the Coffee Monsters Co. Um, Helen Wang is a phenomenal artist. And she does, if you haven't seen them, you need to go and Google Coffee Monsters Co. or Coffee Mon thecoffeemonstersco.com is her website. And she does beautiful stuff. And when you're part of her Facebook group, she does freebies every now and then. And this is the 2023 freebie calendars. Sadly, my cricket that you can probably hear going in the background because I'm doing some more stickers, I need to calibrate it so it's actually cut off some of the bottoms, which is super annoying, but never mind. So this was the standard 2023 calendar had uh, 2022 and 2024 at the bottom and it was a bit boring so emojis are my friend so I've done this and this is all I've done majorly as a setup so far so the next page and I'm sure you've, if you're looking at take, take a note planners there's lots of 
videos out there with people unboxing, but never mind. You can use these as little habit trackers. I'll just lift that up a wee bit so you can see. I don't know if this will focus or not. But there's enough for every day of the month. And the I like that the weekends are bolder, which is really cool. You can write two little habits in there if you want, or you can put stickers. The next page I've just used. So I use a variety of washi tapes from everywhere. So this is from Kmart here in New Zealand. If you're in Australia, you can get the, the stuff from Kmart in Australia as well. Um, again, you could use this as habit trackers if you wanted to. You could write them sideways or you could just put key events. I'm probably going to put my university stuff on this. Although I did say that I was going to use my um, Hobonichi Weeks for that. But I'm going to be running three planners in 2023, so we'll see. So I've got two pages of that. I haven't put any washi on this yet. Now this starts in December. So I've got some beautiful monthly stickers and they come from shine sticker studio and i bought them from fave thing collectives or fave things collective in australia i love the hollow and they come in a little sheet like this and there's enough for two and because this starts in december and finishes in december um i had to use two so i don't know what i'm gonna do for the next one but look at that i love just love that so much it's so cool anyway so I got a little Christmas washi, and this came from Shein. Don't hate me for getting stuff from Shein, because we know that they're not, like, all very PC and stuff, but that's okay. Um, so I've just used some little Hobonichi Weeks date boxes to show when my uni stuff starts and finishes. So these boxes are approximately, oh, where's the beginning of my ruler? 1.2. 1.1 inches or thereabouts if you're in a uh, the gosh if you're in an imperial measurements place or they are 2.8 centimeters for those of us in the metric world and that's the little cute ruler from the coffee monsters co that i got probably could have used it that way but it's it's real cool anyway so the monthlies, the boxes are a lot smaller, but I'm not hating that. Because if we go, we're just going to jump into my, where's my Wonderland 222? Real quick, the boxes are bigger. They are, where's the inches? 1.2, 1.1 inches. I don't even know how to read it. It's nearly one and a half, one and a quarter inches. Until I live in a metric world. Um, and they are 3.12 centimetres. So there is a, a size difference. And the height is nearly one and a half inches. And just over three and a half inches. But there's the, um, you can see it better on these, the little shaded. So these are made in the States. Beautiful with Tomoe River paper. Um, almost the same colour. And if we open up the Hobonichi Weeks you can definitely see the color difference. So I'm not hating on the cream paper. It actually is darker in real life than it is on my camera. Um, but I like the lighter one. And the reason that I like the lighter one is when I screw up, I can use normal correction tape and I don't need to worry about getting a cream colored tape. Although you can, Fave Things Collective in Australia does sell it. And I'm sure if you're in the States or Canada or Asia or Europe or somewhere else, You'll be able to find it. So that's cool. Anyway, so back to my December. So I've just marked off Christmas and Boxing Day and Boxing Day Observed. We have that as a holiday here in New Zealand. Um, obviously haven't filled any of it out because it's like literally the 26th of October today. So that's cool. So all the monthlies are all in the front. Some more stuff I'm doing summer school this year. So um, I've just, all I've done is gone through and done these and just when my semesters begin and end and stuff like that it sounds different i don't know if you can hear that it sounds different to the tomorrow river paper and others it's my wedding anniversary my birthday um and then once we get through all that it actually oh okay so it actually goes shows you how much attention i pay december then we have january 2024 february 2024 and march that's pretty cool. I'll remember that. I may not use these. I may use these for goals, like cover them or use them for goals or something. The biggest thing for me 
and I'm gonna try I don't even know if I can zoom in so I don't want to screw up my camera but that's okay here is your weekly at a glance now these spaces here fit the Hobonichi Weeks date covers so if you are going out of a Weeks or you've got access to Weeks stickers that will work perfectly there for you which is really cool um, I'm probably going to do that because I'm a sticker girl um, in my Wonderland 222 I like my stickers it's full of emojis and beautiful things and washi tape but yeah nope anyway so you get three days on the first lot plus your at a glance and your second one you have four now a lot of people I know they didn't like that because they were used to having the whole week on the page but I don't write particularly small and I like to use stickers and sometimes I like to draw and washi tape and all the fun stuff so I wanted to try having a little bit more room because I memory keep in these I don't use it as a traditional planner I mean this side I definitely will put any appointments or things that are due and stuff like that they'll go up here I'll put some stickers so yeah um I'm really really excited to try this and of course it's got you can see on the side here where I'm going to put my tabs I'm just waiting for my coffee monsters co-order to arrive it's, it takes ages from Canada but that's okay because it's worth it so then we go through, now the thing about this is it does not have note pages. What I've done in the back is I've done some pen tests because reviews said that this possibly, this paper, is the new Tomoe River paper. Um, I haven't been able to find that out for sure. I have emailed Take a Note themselves to find out because I tell you what, if it is, you're going to love it. Right. Pen test, there is shadowing. There's always going to be shadowing. I'll just bring up my... I think I did one in my Wonderland 222. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I did it in my old cousin. Um, oh my gosh, I should have organised this before. But no, I didn't. So let's do it really quickly right now. So we're going to go into the back Ooh, of my Wonderland 222. I stuck that page down. That's a bit silly. So it does sound different. Anyway. We're going to do a really quick pen test. So the pens that I've decided I'm going to use in here, sorry, in my Take a Note Planner, are my uh, Faber-Castell artist pens. They're a, oh, a brush pen, quite a fine brush pen too, which I like, and pale mild liners. So we're going to do a little swatchy-swatchy however I want because I don't use these note pages in the back. So I'm going to do a little, that's this particular tealy colour is really wet. I don't know why, but that particular one is. And then I'm going to do the purple. This soaks in a little bit quick. And then I'm going to do, and there's no like, I have no plan to this. This is like spur of the moment. I'm going to do a dark. This is really dark. This dries quite quick, this pen. Water-based. And let's see what it looks like. So, for some reason, this freaking mild liner, it really bleeds through. Like, I've got some serious bleeding down this end. You may not be able to see it on camera. But, when I bring through this, see where I just started? But you can kind of see, and I don't know if it shows up on camera, more on the old Tomoe River paper than the possible new one. So anyway, I've decided that I'm going to use my pale mild liners and I'm going to use my Faber-Castell pens and my light Tombow markers. So I used Tombows. These are them at the top. And there's not, there's not a heck of a lot of shadowing. That's just because it's resting on the other page, of course. But then I used my uh, clean color dots. And I love these because, we, you know, they're like the dot and you can make perfect dots. And we had bleeding, and I was not happy. But never mind. Um, so that's what I'm going to go with, and I'm going to probably still use my absolute favorite pen in the whole world, which is my Uniball Signo. And I got this from Stationery Pal as a freebie, and I said, oh, it's probably going to be a little bit rubbish, but honestly, I use this for everything. Absolutely everything. I'm just trying to get refills for it, so I use the 0 0.5, and she's getting a bit low. 
which is a bit sad. So we'll have to figure that out because I just, I really like this. Anyway, so that's that. What I did want to say was we go to December 2023 because ADHD brain comes out and I forget what I'm saying. And it ends on the 31st of December. One, two, three, four pages of notes. And then you can have your name in context. You can really see where that's bled through. So there's no wasting of note pages. Um, in my Wonderland 222, hang on, where's the little thingy? Oh, it's around the wrong way. Good work. There's actually a considerable amount of note pages. They're numbered as well, which is really nice. I can't remember. There's like 86 pages or something. So if you did, well, maybe more than that, 86 pages. So if you wanted to take some notes or whatever in it, you can. Love my kitty. Um, I'm, I'm not a notes person. I've got notebooks for that. And when I say I've got notebooks, I've got a lot of notebooks. So my next plan is I'm waiting for the tabs to come and then I'm going to tab up my monthlies and I'm going to tab up my weeklies. Um, the monthlies don't have these little colored bits, so I'm just going to go through and do, I don't even know if I will, because it's only one to a page. I don't know. We'll see. But overall thought so far is I really like this and I'm really glad that I bought it and it was really expensive. The New Zealand dollar is really weak against a lot of other places. So this cost me, I think it was 700 Taiwanese dollars. I spent a hundred dollars anyway, because the other thing that I got with it is the cover. Now this absolutely stunning cover and I mean stunning because it's hollow and gorgeous is a cosmetic cover it is paper I'm not going to do a tear test or anything because it's ridiculous but it's just literally stitched on two sides and it fits beautifully it has taken note just here and it's just I don't know if you can see it's absolutely beautiful but I'm really worried it's going to get dirty and I've spent enough money on stationery so I didn't want to buy a cover on cover from Hobonichi. I don't even know if it'll fit. So if anybody's got one of these covers, the cosmetic covers, please tell me if I can get a you know, plain plastic vinyl cover on cover for it because I would love to use this. I mean, I, I love this as well, don't get me wrong, but come on, she's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Could even frame it, it's that pretty. So yeah, so that is my little review of my Take a Note Planner. I hope you liked it, and I hope I'm going to get some more videos out soon. I've just about finished university for the year. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.